Alma Thomas was an African-American expressionist painter who was born in 1891. Although she didn't become famous as a painter until 1960, when she was almost 70 years old, Thomas worked as a elementary school and junior high school teacher and wasn't recognized as a professional artist until her retirement in 1960. She is known for her color field paintings and was interested in color theory. Her work was considered avant-garde at the time when she began this style of painting in the 1920s before abstract painting in this style was popular. Take a look at the painting to the right. Notice how she uses small strokes to create a circle and a palette of warm colors. Here's another piece of Thomas's work. This is from 1970, titled Light Blue Nursery. Do you notice how this time she's lined up neat rows of rectangular shapes of color? Thomas would lightly draw those rectangles onto her canvas with a pencil. Then she would go back with paint and fill in most of the rectangular shapes. When you look closely at her work, her original pencil marks are still visible. This last painting from Thomas is her vision of what it might have looked like on a lunar or Mars landscape. Again, you can see neatly arranged rows of color filled in with paint. Thomas worked in her living room, sitting on her couch, sometimes with her canvas in her lap or propped up against her sofa. So, you don't need a fancy studio in order to make amazing works of art. Let's take a look at how you could make some work inspired by Alma Thomas while you're working from your home. If you have pieces of colorful paper lying around, even junk mail advertisements, you can tear them into small pieces, rectangular or square shape, and arrange them in a pattern the way that Thomas did with her painting. If you don't have access to colorful paper or paper scraps, you might consider arranging a toy like Legos or other blocks that you might have. Pick out a palette of warm or cool colors for yourself, or you can mix them up like a rainbow as Alma Thomas sometimes did. Last, if you have access to pencil, paper, and crayons, you can try your hand at lightly drawing rectangular and square blocks, create a pattern, and color them in with your favorite colors. As always, I can't wait to see what you create and share with me on Class Dojo. Have an amazing day.